Back near Kyiv, I'm in a town that's become known all around the world because of the awful things that happened here. When the war began, President Putin's plan was to use the Russian army to quickly take over Kyiv, remove the Ukrainian government and put his own people in charge. Putin's plan failed. Ukraine's army first stopped the Russian military and then pushed them back from here. And when the Russians were forced out, then it became clear that something terrible happened right here. Yegor was born in Bucha. He lives in this apartment with his mum. The town is usually quiet. There's a school, a high street and a few shops. This is the view from his house now, a reminder of what happened in March last year. There was a big fight of the tanks. Many homes were damaged. Many people suffered. And there were lots of blasts. Everything was burning here. Yegor showed me a video of how much of his hometown was destroyed. This tree was filled with those tanks and armoured vehicles and all these burned vehicles. And you can still kind of make out the fire on the trees. The fences are burnt. Yes. <gasps> I was born in Butcher. I know everything here. But then the war started and I spent the toughest time here. The toughest. We were evacuated from here. I then came back and then went away again. There was a lot going on. I asked myself, how is it possible to stop all of this? I don't know. And I don't know why the Russians are destroying everything. It's thought Russian soldiers killed more than 400 people in Bucha. In war, there are rules. One of the most important is that civilians, so that's people like you and me, who are not soldiers and not fighting, are protected. Russian forces are accused of deliberately killing civilians here, which is a war crime. The Russian government says that the Ukrainian authorities faked what happened, but that claim cannot be backed up with any facts. Instead, journalists and international lawyers trained to investigate war crimes found evidence that matched what the people of Bucha say took place. I wish that in the future there will be peace and I'll go back to school to study and wish all houses are repaired. I never want to see a war here again. I never want to see anything military again. Not any burned houses. And I want all trees grown back. No air raid sirens, no blackouts. The people of this town witnessed utter devastation and a lot of suffering too. But there are signs of hope Homes are being built again, and Jaegor's really happy about that. <laughs>